What's up traders? Better health, better trading, episode number two. All right guys, we're gonna get into this video and I'm gonna teach you guys about health. Right? I'm gonna really start to dive more into the health as I go along because I think it's really, really, really important. Now, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this health stuff came about when I was trying to lose my weight. Uh, when I was trying to lose, you know, when I was trying to, you know, get into shape and I was trying to, you know, make sure that I was, um, let me just see if I can just share this with you just quickly here. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of these techniques guys that I actually found out or that I learned was, was when, um, when I was trying to lose weight. So if I share with this, this, uh, this image here for, with you right now, as you can see, if I just bring this down for a little bit more, let me bring that down a bit more there. So this is here. This is actually when I was trying to lose weight. So this is where I was really, really overweight. And then obviously I wanted to try to get, I want to try to get into the best shape of my life. Now, not only that, but I wanted to, this is also, uh, this is obviously, let me zoom in here. This is obviously when I had cancer as well too. 2009 I had cancer. And this is obviously me today. So a lot of these techniques guys I've learned from trying to lose weight, but also get healthy as well too. And one of the biggest things that I learned back, I didn't know this at the time, but when I was going through the cancer removal process, so to speak, and again, I'm not going, I'm not going to say I'm going to help you if you have cancer. I'm not saying here I'm going to help you if you have some disease. Go seek your doctor, okay? I'm just telling you what I did. And this is obviously not for everyone. All right, just make sure that's clear, okay? Obviously, this is going to help with your health, but if you have, if, if you've got a serious illness, go talk to your doctor. I'm not here to help you out with that, okay? But I am going to help you when it's come to this sort of thing. Now, when I was going through the cancer, one of the best things I did, which I did not know I was doing, which was actually fasting. Now, I didn't know, I didn't know that this was the best thing for my entire incomplete immune system, for my for my inflammation, for for my for my cell regeneration for just, you know, just a human growth, human growth hormone, all these amazing things that actually came along with me doing this fasting. Now, what I did guys with this is as I was going through the cancer process, I when I had cancer, what I would do is, uh, there's a lot of things I actually did during the week, but Saturdays and Sundays, when most people are picking out, I would literally go for a two day, two day complete fast. I started off with say half a day, and then I made it one day, and then I made it two days. And I did that every single week for about three months where every Saturday and Sunday, I did nothing but fast. Now, here's the key though. I did nothing but fast, but all I did was I drank around seven liters. Yes, it may be a lot, but this is what I did to completely, you know, rejuvenate my, my, my entire body. Because again, if I bring up this here, you can see, look at my face. And I was big, that was my cancer there. It was just really, really hard for me to, to get ahead. But again, this is what I did to, to allow the body to naturally heal itself and get back to a nice, calm, alkaline peak state was what I did is I fasted, but I drank seven liters of green drink. You know the green drinks that you can take, it's got wheatgrass, barley grass, all these amazing greens for your blood, for your body, and just everything like that. Because I was fasting and then I was just taking green drink, and I did this for two days straight, right? For two days straight. Now, I'm not saying you should do this, guys, by the way, but the thing is like, one thing I realized is I didn't realize at the time because I didn't do study on, on doing that. I just thought, you know, if I just stop eating and throw these greens in my body and give it time to heal, that's, that's sure that's going to be good for it. Now, I didn't realize, it wasn't until three or four years later that I realized what exactly what was going on when I was doing this. And what was happening is because I wasn't eating any food and I was just giving my body a lot of greens and that's all I was doing. And yes, I went hungry and yes, I got, yes, I was really hard at times because I wanted to eat. But guess what? You just got to push through it, got to push through it, got to push through it. And then after a while, what ended up happening was that I started to, I started to need less sleep. I started to increase my energy levels. It was, it was so, it was so amazing, right? Everything started to really work and operate on an amazing level. Now, what ended up happening, guys, is what, what happens is a lot of people go to the doctors to try to get better, right? Sometimes what the body needs, and have you ever noticed, the body's smart. Have you ever noticed when we get really sick, when we get really, really, really sick, what ends up happening? We don't eat, right? We don't eat for a day or two. Why is that? Do you think? Because the body's saying, "Listen, stop eating. Let me let let me heal. Let me you know let let me recover." Make sense, guys? So think about that for a while, right? Let me heal. Let me let me recover. So it actually literally stops you from it's, the body stops you from eating, so it can heal and so it can re, it can recover. What do you normally do? You drink some soup or you drink some just liquids, right? And you don't really eat much, do you? So that, that's heal and recover. So what ended up happening, guys, is at that time uh, with me, what ends up happening, as you can help here, helps heal your gut. Uh, what ends up happening is because you're not throwing food at it, um, it's increasing your, it's, it's obviously reducing inflammation, which is a big, big, big thing in the body. It's, it, um, it incre improves hormone, um, in hormone sensitivity. Also, incre increase, uh, 
growth hormone, which is very, very, very big um, when it comes to you know re- cell reju- reju- rejuvenation, so on and so forth, and, and stuff like that. But also, if you think about fasting, fasting is also like an immune reset, right? We're always trying to we're always trying to make sure our, our, our immune system is strong. Right. So, how do we make sure I miss it strong? Well, did you know by by fasting? Now, I don't have the exact science on this, but do you know by fasting, doing some fasting, what happens? It actually kills off some of the uh, some of the old cells in your immune system, basically in your blood. But that's not bad. The reason why is because new, fresh blood cells are rege- regenerated, regenerated. So it's like an immune system reset. Have you ever been around people? And I'm 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 like this myself. But have you ever been around people where where they just don't get sick? I wonder why that is. It's not because they're. It's not because they're doing something. It's not because that's that's the type of person. I don't know. They're probably doing something. For me, I don't. I don't ever get sick. Maybe once or twice a year, I get sick if I throw a lot of shit at my system. So it makes sense, guys. So what I want you to do is think about fasting in a in a way of. Now again, I didn't realize I was doing this, but my my my, my immune system was regenerated. I was, re, I was I was I was giving all this out, all these greens to my body. My human growth hormone was 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 increasing. My my inflammation was reducing. And guess what? Through that process, my, my the tumor that I had right this tumor right here, the tumor that I had when I was actually going through the cancer, it doesn't survive in that state. The reason why it was surviving was because I did no exercise, I did no greens. I was, it was it was a it was it was a bell of monkeys. It was, it was such a mess. All right, it was such a mess when it came to, you know, basically when it came to uh, me trying to me trying to be trying to become healthy. But one one thing I realized is once I started, uh, you know, cleaning my blood up and, and removing the inflammation and creating growth growth hormone, I started to sleep better. I started I started, I, lost, I lost a lot of weight. Yes, because I was just removing the process there. I became fitter. I became leaner. I, you know, I had a lot of energy. I became sharper, and things just started really really growing from there on a big basis. Now again, I'm not recommending you do a two-day fast. You can if you want to, but I did that and I drank a lot of greens because I really needed to give my body a lot of greens because it was just starving for that. I was in the pizzas, pizzas and pasta. I'm still in the pizza and pasta, but I balance it out. Now, one thing I recommend you doing though is that if you don't want to go into a two, one a one-day fast or two-day fast, which I don't ever do, I don't do a one or two-day fast anymore. I I may do like oh, a 16, maybe a 20-hour fast, maybe even a 22-hour fast. Yeah, but I never do. I never do um, just uh, just just a straight two day fast anymore. I don't need to. What I do on most days, like today, right now, I'm recording this, and it's 10 a.m. in the morning. I've been up since basically four or five this morning. I won't eat until probably around lunchtime, maybe even one o'clock, maybe later than that. So that that's when I actually start to eat. Now here's the thing, guys. If you just if you just maybe skip breakfast for, skip skip breakfast a little bit and allow the body to naturally recover, have a good dinner. You know, have the pastas or what do you want for dinner. But one thing I found, guys, is if you just give your body a bit of time, and then in that time when you're not eating, drink a lot of liquids, have a lot of green tea, have some lemon water. You know, all these different things. You know, have a coffee if you want to. You know, just just try to try to stay away from the the milks and all that sort of stuff, you know, and the milk and the sugar and all that sort of stuff, because you don't you don't want to you don't want to add that sort of stuff. Just maybe just black coffee, you know, for, for for maybe energy in the morning, and and allow the body to naturally heal itself by giving it lemon water, by giving it a green tea. If you can take a green drink, even better. Through that time where you where you're not eating, right? So I basically I stopped eating at eight o'clock last night, and I'm not going to eat to around about what's that around about probably one o'clock today. So I said eight eight is twelve. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm gonna, about 17, 18 hours I'll fast today. Now this morning what I've had is I've had um, I've, I've had uh, a green drink. I've had um, two green teas. Um, I've had a ginger tea as well too. Um, and, and, and that's basically it. So I haven't had any, haven't had any, haven't, haven't had any lemon water this morning, but that's what I'll do. And then I start the day. Now guys, if you just, if you try to do something like that every single day, um, now I'm not saying you should fast every single day, but I try to do that because guess what's happening guys in my body right now, as I speak by doing this recording, I'm allowing my body to naturally cover itself. So if I do want to have spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti bog, you know, if I do want to have a pizza or if I do want to have anything like that at night time. It's it's okay because I'm balancing it out. Makes sense? But it's not okay to have a muffin for breakfast, a big bowl of whatever, you know, McDonald's for lunch and you know and some pizza at night time. You know what I mean? Like it becomes too much for the body. Give your body time to heal, allow it to flush out, give it give it some, lots of green tea, lots of lemon water, some green drinks, you know, and you may and again you may want to fast for a little little bit longer as well too, like I like I am. 
And from that process, guys, you're burning fat, you feel healthier, you're allowing your body just to naturally recur itself. I'm, I'm, and through this whole process, guys, I'm, 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 crea- I'm, I'm making sure my immune system's strong. So therefore, if people are sick around me, I'm not getting all diseases and stuff like that. Because that's the only reason why people get sick, right? It's just the diseases and so on so, stuff out there. But the only reason why you get sick is because your immune system's down. How do you give your immune system reset? Start to do, uh, start to do, uh, um, start to do um, some intermittent fasting. You know, and then every now and then throw maybe a 24 hour fast or a 20 hour fast, you know what I mean? Like extend it out a little bit. Because sometimes like for me, yeah, for example, for me yesterday, I didn't start eating to three o'clock in the afternoon. Now I had a really busy day and so on and so forth. I also went to the gym, you know, just give your body enough time. And I just kept drinking green drinks and green drinks and lemon water. And guess what I had for dinner? I had spaghetti bolognese. I had some chocolate, I had some ice cream, you know, like I had that sort of stuff. Why? Because I gave my body time, you know what I mean? It's balancing it out. And when you balance this stuff out, you can enjoy yourself as well too um, while doing this sort of stuff. Make sense, guys? Um, and so that's what I do say, you know, when it comes to health. Health is very, very, very important. I hope you can understand, guys, some some of the things that actually happens. And that's the reason why, guys, most mornings, not every morning, but most mornings I wake up, I start with a lemon water straight away. And then I do, I do some workout or maybe I'll do some workout or maybe if I don't do workout, I'm straight into some green and make green tea and I might even throw like a, like a lemon and ginger in there as well too. You know, like I've got a le- lemon and ginger tea and maybe a green tea. This morning I had a lemon, had a green tea, green tea bag in there and also then I had a lemon and ginger tea bag in there as well too. Really good for, for cleaning out. And then I, had, then, I had, then I had just a straight cold green tea. You know what I mean, and then I and then I took some BCAs as well too, with a little bit of natural natural green tea, um, caffeine, and this has helped me ki- ki- give my system a bit of a boost as well too. What it also does, it also creates a bowel movement in me. I've had two bowel movements this morning, from and again it's only ten a.m. It's it's all it's cleaning it out, right? It's cleaning it's cleaning all that acidic out. It's allowing the body to heal itself. It's allowing, allowing the body to do, do its thing, and that's how you can start to move forward. If you actually look at my again, if you look at my photo here, when I was going through the cancer. What is, uh, as you can see, right, this is, this, these photos here are taking probably about eight, eight years, perhaps seven, about seven years later. And as you can see, if I zoom in a bit more, let me zoom in actually a bit more. If I zoom in a bit more now, and I, and I actually bring this out here, if I zoom in a bit more, what is the one thing that you see? Look how old, look how old I look in the photo there. And look at my skin here. See how clean it is. See how like young I look here. This is about a seven to eight year period later, guys. This is what's happening. We are literally rotting in. We are literally rotting inside our bodies, and our bodies are breaking down and breaking down and breaking down by the stress, by the lack of sleep, by all these ama- all these things. Or I shouldn't say amazing. All these things that's actually happening in our body. But when you start to do the right things, you start to look good. Your skin starts to light up. You know, like for me, guys, I've I have very clear skin, um, and um, you know, and I don't get sick. And there's no secret to it. I just do certain things throughout the day. You know, and guess what, guys? I may do that five, six days a week, and then on the weekend with the kids, guess what? I'll go out and I'll have some KFC, I'll have some Chinese, I'll have some ice cream. But balance it out, you know what I mean, guys? Like, if I do that, if I have, like, a big weekend, guess what I'm doing Monday? Firstly, firstly, I'm actually going, firstly, I'm drinking a lot of lemon water, a lot of green tea, and a lot of green drink. Secondly, I'm actually going to the gym to do a bit of cardio to really kick that lymphatic system over. And thirdly, I'm not, go, I'm not going to eat again. I'm not going to eat until like at least after lunch, maybe one, two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to start eating. Why? Because I'm allowing my body to naturally recover. If we keep throwing shit at it, that's when we get sick. That's when we start putting on weight. That's when we brain fog and all that sort of stuff. Make sense, guys? So, anyway, guys, I hope this really helps you out. This is just another video based on health to really help you out when it comes to that. Um, you know, use this to really start to re- use this to reset your, your entire immune system for better health.